So you want him to feel like he's climbing stairs. So he compresses behind you and then grows. Then compress, then grow. He's starting to get tired. He's like, dude, this whole dressage thing, give me a cross country course. Much easier. Yep, getting tired. <laughs> so first make sure you can counter flex. Nose to the outside. Good. Now, forward, ground cover. Now compress. Bring the right shoulder in front of the left hind. Good. And again on the next long side. Can you turn his nose a little right? Can you use all of your right aid? Your right thigh, your right calf, your right shoulder, your right hip to push him. And then bring him in. There you go. Now a couple strong half halts and a 90 degree turn. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. We'll do this again. Let him figure it out. So make sure you give a little on the inside hand and you're turning. I feel like I turn with my outside knee, thigh, and point of hip. Now, those are, that's where I feel like the turn comes from. Now the turn. Half halt, half halt, turn, turn. And the lighter you can be on your inside hand in the turn, the more he will have to balance on his inside stifle. Don't let him have the luxury of using your left hand. He's got to use his left stifle. That's it. There he shifted his balance. <laughs> I promise we'll finish with a trot exercise. One more time, because I'm being greedy. <laughs> All right. So to trot. Ride the activity in the trot. Active, and then forward. So activate, and then make swing. On this next long side, 10 meter circle in the corner. And then shoulder four. Or we could actually do shoulder in with no bend. I don't want the right shoulder to go right. I want you to really support the right shoulder. And then once you're in the shoulder in positioning, I want you to shift the balance of the weight. So you feel him take your inside rein a little heavier. Now use your right thigh and have him just put a little more weight in your inside hand. That's better. And then straighten. Because what he wants to do is he wants to, he wants to fall to the right shoulder a bit. So when you get into the shoulder in, then you're going to use your right thigh and transfer some weight into your inside hand. And then you can transfer him back more into your outside hand if you'd like. But first he's got to let you take, the, yeah, take him into the inside hand. You should be able to put him in either hand whenever you want without him changing the, lane of, the line of travel of his feet. Yeah, and then he's got to keep his balance. So bring his shoulders onto the inside tracks. You're on three tracks. Now use your right thigh and have him take your inside hand a little more. Yeah. See how that makes him taller? Yes. Mm -hmm. One more time and then we'll change direction and do this the other way. Keep the feeling of lifting him with your low abdominal muscles and the slight movement of your hands. Very slight. Now push him into your inside hand. Yeah. Good. And we'll change direction, however you would like. You can do it either way.